I'm going to use this 35 minute video clip to give you an overview of chapter 1. In chapter 1, we're going to define economics. We're going to talk about two subcategories of economics, microeconomics and macroeconomics. So let me begin by discussing both definitions of economics have common components. They focus on scarce resources, limited production capacity, unlimited wants, and decision making. And so what drives, drives economics is limited or scarce resources which limits production. Therefore, society cannot meet all the unlimited wants that society then has to make several interrelated decisions. One, what's going to be produced? How will it be produced? And how will these goods that are produced be distributed? We are going to segue from talking about economics to talking about two broad categories of economics, microeconomics and macroeconomics. In class, I'm going to define microeconomics, microeconomics, and differentiate microeconomics from macroeconomics. Microeconomics think focus on the individual, individual unit. It could be an individual, individual household, a firm, or an industry known as a singular context. And so we're going to outline some basic concepts pertaining to microeconomics. We're going to focus on the market or price system. The market or price system is an economic mechanism that rations goods and services. And we're going to discuss this in the context of microeconomics. We're going to end the current portion of the course by looking at four interrelated macroeconomic measures. And these measures give us some indication of the health of an economy, in the course of our context, the U.S. economy. And so we're going to discuss gross domestic product, GDP, GDP as a measure of production, not income. We're going to look at business cycles, which are simply changes in GDP over time. We're going to introduce five phases of the business cycle. We're going to finish the macroeconomic measures by discussing inflation and unemployment. Once we have discussed the macroeconomic measures, we're going to begin to build two interrelated macroeconomic models. One is going to be referred to as the Keynesian cross. The second is going to be referred to as the aggregate demand and the supply model. These two models are interrelated. We're going to talk about the common denominators between these two models. Once we have discussed the two interrelated macroeconomic models, we are then going to be in a position to discuss macroeconomic public policies. And we're going to focus on fiscal policy. Fiscal policy is use of government spending, government taxation, and government transfer payments to shape the economy. We're going to end the semester by looking at monetary policy. Monetary policy and the role of the Federal Reserve System plays in shaping the economy.